you're looking at here are good old fashioned thank you cards. And yes, I'm talking about the kind where you take a little ink pen and you write a note, you put a stamp on it and you send it out in the mail. When is the last time you got a thank you note in the mail? You probably still have it, am I right? You know, thank you notes are processed differently than all other types of mail. We get the junk mail in the, in the mail with the catalogs and the advertisements and the flyers and bills, da, da 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 But when somebody actually stops and they send us a thank you note, we hang on to it. We're like, wow, someone appreciates me and, and they noticed. And we, we take these up on our refrigerator and we hang them up on the mantle and we pin them up in the cubicle at work. We want people to know that we, we are appreciated because being appreciated is something every person needs, yet we don't say thank you enough. Being grateful and having an attitude of gratitude is a value that will never go out of style. It will never go out of style and you can never say thank you too much. Now, I have this little coupon holder that I keep all of my blank thank you cards in. I bought this coupon holder at the dollar store. These cards I bought at the card section at Walmart or Target or Albertsons or Publix or wherever you shop. They sell these little thank you notes. And there's a variety of different types of thank you notes for a variety of different types of people and different kinds of things that they might have done for you. But get in the habit of writing thank you notes. It only takes a couple minutes a day. It really only takes a couple minutes a day, but it goes so far. People will hang on to these for two and three and five and 10 years when a quick email or a text gets deleted. Get in the habit of writing thank you cards. It makes you feel good. It makes the person you sent the, the card to feel good and it's a good idea. It's a good idea.